They do start with Walker in the backfield, and Walker gets the first carry. This is what number nine does. For Michigan State being able to rotate that many players in and be comfortable with it. So now second at 13, Thorne fires a strike across the 50 into the hands of Jalen Naylor. Running the football, but he does get positive yardage to stay ahead of the chains. Second down at nine, and he's taken to the ground by Simeon Barrow. Noah Vedrill. So now third down at 18, Vedrill running for his life. Tries to flip it downfield to Crookshank get a foot in. They say yes. Second and eight, Vedrill keeps it. Vedrill breaking free. How about Noah Vedrill? Crookshank motions. They pop it to him. Crookshank, touchdown records. Now Peyton Thorne and company return to the fold. Here's Kenneth Walker right up the middle. Ooh. He almost broke it. Let's go down to Rick. Walker had a 12-yard gain on first down. And now Thorne going deep downfield. He's got him wide open. Jalen Naylor, and they'll never catch him. And Michigan State strikes back quickly. We noted it, but they're averaging 3.4 a game, best in the country. Federal trying to take off. Not a good decision. Maverick Hansen was the first to get there. He's going to have to be big if they're going to hold up against these wideouts. Walker, eight carries, 30 yards. Here off the play fake. Thorne, boy, he's got a great arm, and he's got a receiver in Trey Mosley. Taking it all the way down inside the Rutgers 40. Aaron Young enters the game to the left of Federal. Well, they fake two handoffs, and then they throw it downfield, complete to Giovanni Haskins. But no trouble there, and Rutgers is back out in front. Well, if you just hand it to Reed, it's easier as well. <laughs> Here they do hand it to Walker. Kenneth Walker. Upended by Izian. <laughs> Thorne. Looking for Naylor again. Dropped it right in the bread basket. And the Naylor, remember, he's a former track star. And he is gone. This time, Bedrill to the air, and he completes it. Crookshank, and the Crookshank gets hit hard. There's Angelo Gross again. We're off to a 5-0 start, and it's Harold Joyner getting his first carry. Drop snap on third and nine, and Thorne just has to dump on it, and now it's still free, and it's still free, and finally, Rutgers has it. And now Ambrosio hit from 26, this from 29. So he's two for two, and that pulls Rutgers within a penny. You get a three and out, force a field goal. That's the best case situ uh, situation right there. Recapture the momentum back from Rutgers. How about a flea flicker? Thorne. He's got him again. Look at this. It's Naylor with three long touchdowns in the first half. This time they fake it. Get it out to Hayward. Hayward, the former running back, hurdling over the top of Abraham. But this will help. Get him some breathing room. Walker, Walker. Across the 30, still on his feet. There he goes. Kenneth Walker. He's going to go all the way. One play, 94 yards. So they could still pick up the first here. Federal. Oh, had the idea to take off. Oh, he lost it. Xavier Henderson knocked it free. And the dig to the bottom of the pile. They say Rutgers does have it. Michigan State, after a 2-5 and five season a year ago, can already be bowl eligible in less than six minutes. That pass, I think it hit the ground. Or no, they're going to say, no, incomplete. They did the last drive. Can their defense do it again? Federal hit as he throws. It's free. They're saying that's a live ball. It's picked up by Jacob Slade. 
35 yarder. This is the distance going to the same end that he missed the kick in the second quarter. But there's the record breaker. 6 and 0. Oh, they take care of business here against the Scarlet Knights 31 to 13. They did it with 590 yards of offense. <laughs>